Where's Bloody Mary at? I'm gonna do a little bit of trading with her, maybe. Howdy. What do you need? I just want to see your goods. Let's see. What do you got for sale? Um, we want to drop off a few things, I think, before we before we move through a, a place where we're gonna have a whole bunch of loot to grab. Oh yeah, I still need to try this bounty honey hunter duster on at some point. Let's get rid of these carton of cigarettes. Um, we'll repair our our stuff as well. Actually, hang on. Thanks. Yep. We'll be trading Bye. more with you. I want to condense a few of my items here. Let's see weapons. Which one do we really like? This Colt 10 millimeter pistol can't be repaired with anything. Repair that. Anything else? Plasma Defender? Yeah, might as well. Condense it down for now. I think that's it. Anything with my apparel? Nope, everything else that's loose now can be traded what away. What do you need? I want your caps. How many caps you got to part with? Wow, she's got a lot. Um, let's see. Covering scarf, we're gonna keep that. Die of doom. Die of fortune. I might have to maybe equip those and throw them or something. And figure out what that's for. Dynamite, we're gonna keep. We'll break that down into gunpowder. Fire gecko hide, we'll drop that off. Um, hammer, keep. An incendiary grenade. All this dynamite? Nah, I guess we'll keep that. Empty sarsaparilla bottle, she can buy that from us. One cap, it adds up, right? A plasma defender, I'm gonna get rid of that while I can. It's two pounds, and I have a feeling we're gonna be pushing our weight limit soon. Scrap metal, we'll keep that. Shovel. All this spoiled food she can have. She can throw it in a trash can or something. And I wanna see what that gun is. We'll equip that here in a moment, too. Looks like a revolver or something that takes five, five, six rounds. So what can we buy from her? Um, anything from my varmint rifle? Hunting rifle? No, no, no. Long range rifle scope? Mid range rifle scope? Plasma caster? No. Sniper rifle stuff? Okay. We'll just take caps. 638 caps and we're up to 969. Thanks. No, Bloody Mary, Bye. thank you. And let's see. We'll just check a few things out here. I want to check that new costume out, that bounty hunter's duster that I guess we got for joining the guild. There we go. Looks kind of like a regulator duster. Hey. I guess it serves the same purpose. And we're not going to wear it. Gunslinger's outfit is for us. We'll sell this duster at some point, maybe. Maybe put it on a mannequin in one of our house houses. So let's see. Covering waster scarf goes on. Damn, I don't have my gunslinger's hat. I must have left that back in Good Springs. Oh well. Makes me sad. I don't think we need any of those items. And let's see, where's that gun at? We will equip that on five. Actually on six. That's the other other open slot. And that should be good. So let's see it. Quite a weird gun. It's fancy though. I have a feeling it can do a whole heap and hell of a lot of damage on a on a target. Let's see. Do I have anything I can shoot? I don't want to shoot that car because if it blows up, it'll probably hurt them and then they'll hate me forever. Um, how about this glass? It's loud. Pretty nice. Uh, we might end up using it a bit. I do love this gun, though. And, of course, I love this gun. It's a beautiful thing. And this gun, we're going to get to test out at some point in the dark. I have no idea when. You know what? This is my, uh, my new favorite pistol. The Cult. Um... Okay, let's save it and get ready to storm pimp prim here. We'll save it right here. Because I know we're going to die a couple times going through this. Okay, let's go ahead and move up through prim then. Um, 
think we'll use our varmint rifle for this. Depending on how many there are. Little landmines. Yeah, I didn't forget about you, don't worry. Anybody down there? I don't think so. I think that's an, an NCR checkpoint with their ammo boxes. Um, let's see. How many do they got out there? One, two, three, four, five, I count. There's six back there. Man, there's so damn many of them. Um, you know what? This would be a good time to use a stealth boy. We've got two of them on us, so... Wham, we use that one. And, um, it gives us a depleted stealth boy as well. We can recharge it at a workbench. I don't know how long these things last. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have six guards there. That's so damn many. Let's see. And we still got, I think that's the building we're heading towards. This one right here. If I'm reading my compass right. How the hell do we get in, though? Scout through these trash cans. Dumpster. Small pistol and turpentine. Some primer for uh, ammo. Take that. I don't know who I'm stealing from. They're not pleased with it, though. There's a whole bunch of guards right there. Stealth Boy is pretty effective, though. There is a guard. Is that the hut I'm supposed to go to? No. It is this big building. What's in here? A metal spoon. Take that and melt it down into ammo or something, maybe? God, one, two, three, four. So many people. There's a fifth guy here. I, You know, we really shouldn't be sneaking into this... We are gonna die. You can almost count on it. The Vicky and Vance Casino, huh? Well, who are we supposed to talk to in here? I can't... Th there's no way. Everyone's gonna shoot us as soon as our stealth boy wears off. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster. But you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Um, I'm glad you can see me, but who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband of Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I see. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Mm-hmm. Well, I am, or I was, a courier with the Mojave Express. Do you remember me? Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Hmm. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. What's the repercussions to that? I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Um, let's see. What can you tell me about this job and show oh, the delivery order? you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Never can. Well, some men stole my package, a man in a checkered suit and some thugs. You didn't happen to see him pass this way, did you? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Hmm. You know, one of those men shot me in the head. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I see. What was so strange about these packages, anyways? What sent you off? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have from the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the Divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Hmm. What do you mean he canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. 
His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Well, who the hell would know my name? Do you know who he was or where he went? Any other information on him? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. Maybe I just am bad luck. Cowboy robot, you mean the one over there in the corner? Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like you or me. I see. I'd like to ask you about something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Let's see. Caravan, questions for sale. Have anything for sale. What can I do to help Prim? Yeah, what can I do to help Prim? Do I need to kill all those people out in the streets? Because I'll, I'll try. Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Bison Steve? What is that? Um, I have some questions about Prim. Let's see what he has for sale. Sure, have a look. Let's see, he's got plenty of ammo, alcohol, beverages, a bladed gauntlet for melee. Shame I don't do melee. Let's see, some cards, a nine of hearts from the Ultralux. King of hearts from the tops and a six of clubs from the 38. I'll take those. Those are pretty, um... Decent cards, I think. Let's see, an M1 Garand is here. Wow. Shame it weighs nine pounds. I don't want to bother modding it. An MP38. That's a nice little room cleaner. If we ever burst into a room filled with like 15 people. Um, man, that's the first machine gun I've seen. We're going to buy it. I think that's a machine gun. It looks like a machine gun. It has a 30 round clip, it says. So we're going to buy that, and um, hopefully we don't need to use it as soon as we're done with this conversation. I'm still surprised he can see us. Let's see, we're going to buy the Brahmin steak as well. Shit, we're going to buy all this food. Buy it all. And... Give me a shout if you need anything else. Um, will do. Try not to tell everyone you saw me. Bye. So let's see, I just want to check everyone. Prim resident, they're friendly, Jonathan Nash. Everyone seems friendly in here. Shot glass. Let's see. Someone named Eve. Prim resident, prim resident. Okay. I think we should be safe in here. This is going to be our base of operations for, the, for just a bit. Because as soon as this stealth boy wears off and we have to head back out into the streets, all those convicts are going to be on our throats. It's going to be a shootout whenever we decide to leave this place. Um, so I'm going to save it, and then we're going to wander around, see if we can find any one to recruit around oh. here, and um, I guess begin maybe clearing the streets, find this Deputy Beagle, Prim Slim. Yeah, we've got a few things to do here. Okay, I'm back. Let's see. Let's see what we can do around here. Let's scout around. Hello, sir. Mine just sitting there. Hang on. Looks like that's where the safes are. I can't. I can't use any of this stuff because it's all stealing. Even using that pencil. Hey Submachine gun. That's all stealing too. Wow! Look at all these safes. They're all hard difficulty. That's easy, 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 hard. Okay. Well, they're not gonna let us in into those without a fight, I imagine. I can't even dig to the garbage can without it being considered stealing. These guys have everything claimed, I guess. Oh well, we're not gonna kill them. That safe's theirs. Let's Howdy. see. They even have the cigarettes on the countertop claimed. Stingy bastards. Hello, Johnson. So let's see. I guess that's it. We've already talked to Johnson, at least he talked to us. What do we have here? Vicky's Outfits. 
These replica outfits show just how conscious Vicky was of the styles of the period. Vicky was well known for her sense of fashion, and her fixation on expensive clothing was thought to be one of the reasons the pair chose a life of crime. Well, I guess the clothes have obviously been stolen by now. Vance's gun. There was a gun here at one point. The 9mm submachine gun preserved in the glass case to the left of this plaque is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper-wrapped box under some suitcases in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and muckily untouched by the hell of bullets that ended its notorious owner's life, the weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun, so long as his aim was exact and he was starting off with a full clip, or even more if he had additional ammo clips and was smart enough to reload. Quest added Vance's gun. Um, so wonderful, that's neat. We get a quest from that. Move along, please. Let's talk to Prim Slim here. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. How you doing, Prim? Who are you, anyways? Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! yippee ki -yay. Um, did you know that Vance's gun is missing? Just mosey on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece, that gun. Mint condition. Never fire. If you say so, um, let's see. Science? Maybe you've been hacked or something. You're plum loco, partner. I guess. Um, you know what, Prim? Don't really care to talk to a brain dead robot. He doesn't even know the gun's missing, so whatever. Vance's outfits. These mannequins display replicas of some of the clothing that was found in the trunk of Vicky and Vance's death car. Vance didn't share Vicky's sense of fashion and chose to dress himself how he envisioned a gangster would dress. Shame there's not pictures somewhere. Howdy, man. What do you need? Um, who are you? Let's see. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Sure, what would you like to know? Um, how are you doing? How skilled are you? Are you good with a weapon? Are you willing to help me clear this town out, perhaps? Skilled? Why, I'm the best ever. Just take a look at these numbers. So she's good with small guns, good with energy weapons, and mediocre with big guns. What do you need? We are going to recruit her. How about joining me? All right. I love adventure. Um, yep, so you're our new companion. Morning. We don't need to give her anything. Looks like she's already got her own gear. Use ranged, open inventory, keep distance, be aggressive. Um, be passive. Yeah, be passive unless they shoot at us. Use ranged. Show me your inventory. She's got a chaos gun. That's her, her special gun. A little bit of forbidden fruit, some grenades. She's got her own ammo and a regulator duster. Let's see. Should probably give her some stim packs. We'll give her six of those. And that should be fine. Let's see, what else can we give her? We will also give her... Definitely not the dynamite. I don't want her blowing me up with it. Um, I'm gonna keep my shotgun. I need to equip that machine gun, don't I? Let's see. Revealing Wastelander Scarf. She can have that. There we go. Howdy. So, Eve, um, are you ready? I guess that's all we can do in here. We've talked to everyone, I believe. Let's see. Items. Let's see. We're going to put the MP38 there. And... Oh, boy. What do I want? I guess this gun will be my primary pistol. Goodbye, 9mm pistol. I'm done with you. So let's see. Let's get over here in the light so we can actually see see what's going on with our gear. And this is our... Uh, this is the pistol we're going to be using. Please. This is the machine gun we just picked up. What do you think you're doing? Well, I think we're about ready to go shoot some people. Let's see, actually. Who are you? Ruby Nash. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Oh, I'm actually just sneaking in. Who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around a kitchen. You two don't look like escaped convicts. 
What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. Sounds good. It's perfectly safe. Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Huh. Let's see, note added. Ruby's spicy casserole. I'd like some of that rad scorpion venom casserole. Does sound good, don't it? How many rad scorpion glands you got? I don't have any. Those things are hard to kill. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. Okay. Never mind then. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye So let's see. Um, Artemis here. We'll talk to her. Who are you, Artemis? You look like a half-assed raider. Want to join me? Sure, I suppose I could come along. Wonderful. So we have two companions now. Um, hello, Eve. Everyone say hello to Eve. And to Artemis, who has a hunting rifle or a shotgun. She's got a shotgun, and she's got a combat rifle. Um, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to save the game real quick. And then I'm also going to jump out into Gek and make sure that these two companions are not essential. When, when we go out there, if they get shot and die, I want to make sure that our companions die and stay dead. Just like everyone in this world. They're not special. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, well, a little bit of unfortunate news for us. Eve will not be joining us on our upcoming shootout. Um, she is an invincible companion, and I couldn't tweak her to where she would die. As soon as she joins the group, unfortunately, she becomes invincible. Um, she can die outside of the group, so... Um, I don't know. Artemis here, though, she said she's willing to give her life to the cause. Um, let's see, our stats are good. We got a 30% modifier. You know what, let's try this. We're going to go out into the streets and, I guess, begin mowing people down. Shoot all of these dirty bastard convicts, Artemis. We'll see who gets the first shots. Um, I don't think I should take any meds right off the bat. Okay, so we're out the door. And let's see, there's Artemis. I don't want to shoot at him, because Artemis is about ready to be in my line of fire. And I'll mow her down. There's a dead guy back there. Um, this guy is going to be a problem with his varmint rifle. That guy's just probably got a pistol. He's got a pistol, a 9mm pistol. And he's got a Sig Sauer. We're going to take one burst at him. A burst at him. And um, hopefully by the time we're done with them, we can, we'll can we have enough AP for another burst. He gets raked. Oh shit, we missed him completely. Um, let's back out and try to get our pit boy up. And just in time. So let's see, we will use one stem pack. We're gonna take some jet for the AP. Um, what else should we do? There's so much, so much wonderful stuff we could use here. I think that'll be it though. And we're gonna, we're gonna stick with our machine gun, so. So let's see, this guy's shooting at us, she's mowed him down, and she's doing fine. I think I've taken all the shots so far. She's shot him as well, he's dying. This guy is aiming at us. He's the only one left, I think. Let's take a shot at him, only one I can aim at. Damn, we miss. He's down. Good job, Artemis. Okay. Let's see here. Yep, I knew backup would be arriving, so he's got a Sig Sauer and he's got a pistol coming around. We'll take one shot on him. And we missed. So maybe we can aim for the guy behind him and go through both of them. Oh, we caught his buddy. Damn, he got a grenade or something. Dynamite! Incoming explosives! Son of a bitch. I need to heal up. I'm dying here. I think I caught another bullet when I wasn't looking. Um, man, these stim packs are gonna kill me. Stimulants, 80 milligrams. What about healing powder? No, that'll hurt us a little bit. We'll use another stim pack. And 
I think that's all we can really use for now. Are you alive, Artemis? Yeah, she's still ticking. Let's go around the corner here. Keep your eyes peeled for any bastards. I think that might be it. Any of the other guards are too far away at this point. So good job. Um, let's see. Let's, um... I don't really know what to do now. Our health is at half. I guess we should probably save it after all of that. Make a nice new save and start looting some of these bodies.